name is Barb. I'm your nursing assistant, and I'm going to help you with a partial bed bath today. I'm going to wash my hands, use hand sanitizer. I'm going to pull the curtain. Now for the state test, if the curtain's in your way, once you have pulled it, you are allowed to push it back. I'm going to check the bed brakes as I come around the bed, raise the side rails, since we're going to raise the bed to an appropriate working level. And the bed brakes on this side are in fact on, as are the brakes on this side. I'm going to raise your bed up, Mrs. Smith. There we go. Wasn't sure what it wanted to do. Okay, and I'm going to put some gloves on. We're going to cover you with a nice warm bath blanket, Mrs. Smith. Keep you warm during your bathing time here. Smith. We're going to pull your covers down to the bottom so they don't get wet while we're bathing you. And we're going to fan fold them at the foot of the bed. There you go. I'm going to bring my table closer. Before we start to wash it, let's remove your gown. We'll be real careful not to expose you. Keep you nice and warm. And Mrs. Smith does not have an affected side, so it doesn't matter which side we take off first. So I'm going to roll the soiled gown in on itself, pulling it towards me. I think she's a little mummified in it. And we will put the gown in our hamper. <clears throat> okay, I have my basin of water, which I already filled with comfortably warm water. We have a bath thermometer here. We could check it. It should ideally between, be between about 110 and 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which we'll say that it is. Before I wash Mrs. Smith's face, I'm going to put a bath blanket, or rather a towel, under her face. <clears throat> to keep her dry. And for this skill, we use no soap on the face. I'm going to make a mitt. And you always let your resident know what you're going to do before you start. OK, Mrs. Smith, go ahead and close your eyes for me. We're going to wash your face. I'm sure that'll make you feel better. So with the mitt, you start with the eye away from you. You start at the inside corner and wipe out. There we go. I'm going to turn our washcloth to another portion to the inside corner and out. I'm going to turn my washcloth over and I'm going to wipe her face. There, does that feel good? I'm going to get behind her ears and in her ears. And I'm going to wipe her neck. And since we didn't use soap, we don't need to rinse. And now we're just going to pat dry. Make sure you get behind your ears, Mrs. Smith. Does that feel dry? Oh, good. <coughs> Now we're going to take our towel lengthwise, put it underneath Mrs. Smith's arm. If we wanted to, we could put the basin on top of the towel and put her hand in and let her soak for a while. But since this is a time test, we're not going to do that at this moment. I'm going to make my mitt. Now I'm going to apply soap. Spread the soap around a little. <clears throat> I'm going to start at the hand, getting in between the fingers. And with long strokes, I'm going to wash the arm up to the shoulder. And I'm going to be sure and get the underarm. Hope you're not ticklish, Mrs. Smith. <laughs> OK, I'm going to cover her up while I come to rinse, making a mitt. And I'm going to come back and rinse. I want to make sure and get all the soap off so her skin isn't dry. Again, with long strokes coming up the arm, up to the shoulder, 
and under the armpit. And with my towel right handy and accessible, we're going to pat dry. How's that feel, Mrs. Smith? Getting in between all the fingers. Okay. <clears throat> I can put my towel in the hamper, and Mrs. Smith is ready for a nice, fresh gown. <clears throat> There's several ways to do this. One is to lay it out on top of your bath blanket and help them insert their arms, which is the procedure I'm using. The other way you could do it underneath the blanket. Okay, Mrs. Smith, I'm going to help you raise your head just a little so we can tie this gown in back. Okay. And now we're going to carefully lower the bath blanket, keeping her covered, pulling the gown down, leaving the bath blanket on, and I'm just going to step down to the foot of the bed, <coughs> bring the covers up. And now, Mrs. Smith, if you could hold your covers, please, I'm going to remove the bath blanket. <coughs> That would be most helpful. Again, I'm pulling the bath blanket out by rolling it in on itself, trying to keep her covered. Bath blanket's going to go into the hamper. How are you doing, Mrs. Smith? Do you feel better? Oh, I'm so glad. <clears throat> okay, we're going to lower the bed. Tidying up our covers, making it nice and neat. Do you need anything before I leave the room, Mrs. Smith? <clears throat> Here's your call light. Can you reach it right here? I'm going to clip it to your pillow. Okay. And while I still have my gloves on, I'm going to come over to the sink. I'm going to empty my water, grab a hold of my wash cup. I could have put that in the hamper first. I'm going to rinse my basin. And if the facility has a policy to disinfect it, I would do that. I'm going to dry it out. <coughs> that in the hamper, remove one glove, <coughs> put my equipment away with my ungloved hand. I'm going to open the cabinet and with my gloved hand I will put the other equipment away, remove my glove. <coughs> she has her call light. I'm going to push back the curtain, wash my hands and the skill is complete.